What's going on YouTube? My name is Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and I love to smell amazing. Today I want to talk to you guys about my top five fragrances from the House of Bond number nine. Now the House of Bond number nine takes a lot of slack from what I can tell and what I'm able to assess in the fragrance community because a lot of people tend to say that their fragrances tend to come off generic and I'm not going to argue with that. There are some fragrances from this house that do come off generic, but do I care about that? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> because at the end of the day, uh, for me, oftentimes what it's really about is, man, does this thing smell good or not? That's really what I want to know, okay? And oftentimes, a lot of their fragrances to me are very, very appealing, and you know, they work very well on my skin. So, hey, guess what? I'm a fan of the house. So today again, I'm gonna drop my top five fragrances from the house of Bond number nine. So if you wanna know what those top five fragrances are, keep it locked right here. Okay guys, we're back. We back, we back, we back. Now sit on down, sit on down, sit on down. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and kick this list off. Uh, thank you for keeping it locked in. We're gonna start with number five. And the number five fragrance from this house that I've chosen is a fragrance, in my opinion, that's really, really underrated. I don't hear a lot of talk about it, but when I heard that this fragrance had notes of peach and gingerbread, I was like, yo, sign me up right now. The fragrance that I'm talking about is Bond number no. nine is Manhattan. Manhattan, as I said before, this fragrance features notes of peach and gingerbread. It's a little bit smoky in the opening, but just really drives down again to just kind of gourmand-esque type gingerbread note. Man, just an absolute beautiful fragrance to wear in the cooler months. This is my number five fragrance from Bond number no. nine. This is Manhattan. For the first time doing a My Top Five, we have a tie for number four. The tie at number four, because these fragrances share quite a few similar notes. And I really can't make my mind up at different points in time which one I like a little more than the other. So number four is gonna go to Bond number nine, New York Oud, and also Bond number nine, the signature set. Uh, the note combination that I'm talking about that these two fragrances share is that rose oud combination. And rose and oud tend to do really, really well on my skin. Um, I've told you guys before those fragrances that kind of bend the gender a little bit um, with that with that rose again the new oud in these fragrances that are utilized is not a heavy oud so it comes across kind of light definitely to unisex fragrances um, but what I like about the signature scent is it is so heavily concentrated it has 30% perfume oil in it so it's kind of linear. Uh, it's, it's relatively linear. It doesn't project out a whole lot, but it's gonna stick around like 10 plus hours and It's sweetened up a little bit by a tonka bean and sandalwood. Absolutely love this stuff And then you have New York Oud and New York Oud you get more of the rose You don't get as much rose in this, but I really really like this one as well when I want to This one lends a little bit more on the feminine side to me um, over this one uh, my wife has been killing this one. Uh, she's knocking this bottle out. So when I can't get my hands on this one because she's wearing it, I like to throw this one on. So number four, we got New York Oud and Bond number nine, Signature Scent. Third fragrance on my list is none other than the Green Irish Tweed Clone. <laughs> nah, it smells a lot like Green Irish Tweed, but there are some differences about it. And I really, really have been enjoying this one. This is Bond number nine, Shea Bond. Now again, it has, it's a very green fragrance, very aromatic, very fresh. Um, a lot of bright citrus notes on the top combined with more green notes, but it's a great scent. Again, it does put you in the mindset of, uh, it does put you in the mindset of Green Irish Tweed, but there are enough differences in it to, in my humble opinion, to warrant having both fragrances. And so, again, when I want something that puts me in that Green Irish Tweed, um, when I want something that puts me in the mindset of green iris tweed, but has a little bit more of a citrus element to it, I reach for this one. This is Bond number nine, Shea Bond. The second fragrance on this list, if for no other reason alone, other than the fact that this fragrance actually has a bow tie. <laughs> Woo! Why would I like a fragrance that has a bow tie? I'll give you a minute to think about that. The second fragrance on this list is none other than Bond number nine's Scent 
of peace for him. Now there is a sin of peace for her, but this of course again is a sin of peace for him. I love the presentation, nice bow tie. I think I might be able to rock this one myself. I don't know, we'll try. When I, when I try this, I'll make sure I put it on camera for you guys, all right? But man, just a, a, a great fragrance. A lot of people compare this to Aventus. I really don't get that. Of course you guys know, Anytime a fragrance has pineapple in it, it's supposed to smell like a Ventus. Nah, <laughs> I don't get a Ventus from this at all. It does feature notes of grapefruit and pineapple, but this fragrance gets, goes in a totally different direction uh, from uh, a Ventus, and I love the direction that it goes in. So that's why this is my second favorite fragrance from Bond number nine. This is the scent of peace for him. The last fragrance on the list, <laughs> no surprise, man. This is. The best, one of the best bottle presentations in the fragrance game, bar none. This is the Spring Monster. We're talking about bond number nine, Balika Street. Definitely one of the most popular, if not the most popular scent from this lineup. Absolutely love this stuff, man. Very, very unique. It's green, but at the same time, there's some gourmand elements in this that I absolutely love. There's caramel, blueberry. <laughs> Man, this stuff is really, 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 really magnificent. This is my favorite fragrance from bond number nine. The number one slot goes to none other than Belika Street. Okay guys, that's my time. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my top five. Thank Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. Now, why would you do that? Because I'm the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good, and of course I love to smell even better. So until next time guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better, because I will catch you on the flip side. And don't forget, I make this look good, baby. Peace.